everyone and welcome to another video on the panel variation. Today we'll continue the mini variation, or, well it's a big line, but what we started last which is this way, e6, bishop to b4. We have looked last time mainly on queen c2, or basically only queen c2, with the very interesting idea of bishop d3 and some possible pawn sacrifice. We've seen many games of Karpov with the black pieces including his match against Gaham Magami from 2009. We will actually see even in the other variation uh, uh, another game from this match. The other variation which I'm referring to is bishop d2 immediately. White might keep the option of having his queen on e2 after bishop d3. This is why he doesn't like to play queen c2 immediately. Instead of having queen on c2 and bishop on d3, white might prefer to protect the d2 pawn and play in this direction. Everything has its advantages and disadvantages. Bishop d2 is another system. Knight c6, bishop d3. Another move, I'll just mention it briefly, is bishop b5. It's a very weird move, but white might really want to capture on c6 and actually play against the very weak c-pawn, considering the open c-file. It was played by some very strong players, Coach Noy, Anderson, so let's give it at least a quick look. Castle, castle, bishop e7, rook c1, and here Anderson against Tribli two of the strongest players in the 80s. This is from Raggio Emilia, 1987. Black simply took on c3, bishop d7, and black quite equalized here without any problems. The game ended in a drawn move 35. Bishop f6 is also possible, although I, I, I simply think Ribli play with the black pieces seems just simple enough. Knight e4. This is basically what white is opting to achieve. Pressure on c6. The bishop on c8 seems quite weak. Not very clear where to put it at all. Bishop e7 was played and here coach Noy took. I'm not even sure if this is the best move. Maybe knight e5 is possibility. His opponent, De La Villa Garcia, played knight b4. But here no questions after capture well, either move queen to d3 or a3. White, white is just better here. Well, queen d3 protecting the knight on e4 is correct. Instead of knight b4, rook b8 with just playing for compensation, a great knight on d5. Uh, in my opinion, black is very okay here. So maybe not rook takes c6. But basically, he just wanted to show the idea of playing bishop to b5 and putting pressure against the weak c-pawn. But bishop d3 of course is our main move and here bishop e7. This move has several purposes. The first one is controlling the g5 square. So in the future not to even consider for white several possible captures, knight g5 and queen h5. Just eliminating or taking away the g5 square from white. The other importance of this move is having the b4 square available for the knights. Black, the big fight is over the blockade of the d5 square. One of the main ways is passing to b4, attacking the bishop on d3 and controlling d5. Other than bishop e7, another possible move is immediately knight f6. The idea here is somewhat different still very interesting. Well, how about the d4 pawn which might be under attack? Castle, castle, and here several possibilities for white. Uh, the more that I researched this variation I found that the Iranian top player, Gamma Gami, about 2600, is one of the leading players playing those positions. 